goal is to really take patients that are discharged from hospitals and rehab them. And in order to do this proficiently and well, you really need to today embrace technology. Circadia technology is a radar. It's actually a little disc that sits on the wall. Thanks to this device, we can detect changes two to three days earlier than any other facility. It does bring ICU technology into the skilled nursing home world, which is the first time that you've really seen that integration. And it allows us to tell them that the patients will be monitored, even when someone might not have eyes directly on them. It allows them to be monitored, and early detection of changes is really the key treatment option for us. Very often, the nurses, when they go in, when they get an alert, and they go into a resident's room, and they ask the resident, are you feeling well? The resident has no idea that there's been any change or any decline in their condition. We found respiratory issues, bronchitis, pneumonia, urinary tract infections, because all these issues really start a little earlier where you can't really pick it up by eyesight. We are um, finding infections usually two to three days ahead of time, which is a game changer because now we're able to treat in place. We're not transferring out to the hospital, so we're reducing admissions, readmissions, ED visits. There's a whole panel of clinical nurses who are looking at the data and they have access into our medical records. So they are looking at what are the patterns as well as what's going on related to things documented in our medical record and then alerting our staff. So it's a whole nother set, a whole nother team of eyes and ears. They're helping to say, hey, here's a focused situation. This is what we're seeing. Did you go in and take a look at that person? And as we've gone through case studies and analyzed the data, what it's really shown is we've probably prevented about one third of our hospitalizations just because of early detection and early intervening from our medical staff. One case is, of course, we got a level three alert on the patient. When I went to assess the patient, there really wasn't anything visual that I could see. So we spoke, took the vital signs, did some blood work, chest x-ray, Doppler, and we found out that the patient had been septic. Five years ago, that patient, we wouldn't have seen any changes for two or three days. And then eventually we would have seen some significant changes that would have resulted in us having to send them out to the hospital. Due to the circadia and due to the early detection, we were able to intervene. We were able to do a more in-depth evaluation of that patient and that prevented the rehospitalization because now they were treated two days before their physical symptoms really developed. We are a step ahead of others in offering uh, something to our residents that uh, nobody else offers yet. Our mission is to provide the best care, superior care, to be able to get the patient home as quickly as possible. And this certainly is an important tool in us accomplishing that. Not only are we providing great care, which we always have, but we can now utilize technology and leverage the technology available to us to provide a higher level of care and provide comfort while they're at home and they know that their loved one is being well taken care of. I think in certain cases, it is saving lives. If we can act earlier on certain conditions, especially infections that can turn into sepsis and require hospitalizations, that alone could be adding a huge quality of life an additional lifespan to our residents.